Hello everyone, MultidarkZen here with a tutorial on how to install Stardew Valley mods on the latest version of Stardew Valley. The first thing you will want to do is download Smappy on your preferred web browser. I will open up Firefox and you will want to type in Smappy.io. And it will be brought to this web page here. This is a mod loader for the game Stardew Valley to allow you to use mods in the game. Now what you want to do is click on the big download button. And then you want to do a direct download or download from Nexus. But we'll get on to that later. Right now you want to do direct download. You want to get a zip file extractor like 7-zip which is what I use and prefer. I have my main file extractor as it is, in my opinion, the best. Ignore all that. So you want to get the Smappy mod, and mod loader and drag it to your desktop. And then after you do that, you will want to open it. You want to click on install on Windows. It'll open up a CMD prompt and it will ask you two questions. Do you want to uninstall Smappy or do you want to install Smappy? Now you want to press 1 and then hit the enter key. It'll add the Smappy files. It'll come with some bundle of mods and that is basically it. You have successfully installed Smappy for your Stardew Valley game. The latest version, mind you, has, has literally had an update, and it, it should still work. This should method, this should still work. I, I hope so. Anyways, after you have done this, you will want to go to a website called Nexus Mods to download and install mods. Now, what you want to do is go to Nexus Mods, like so, or type it into your URL, nexusmods.com. If you want, you can create an account. It's free to create an account. It's easy and it'll only take a few minutes of your time. But trust me, having an account is, helps a lot. This, once you get to this website, you want to scroll all the way down. And you want to click on Learn More. And you want to download the latest version now. And then you want to click on download manual and we'll load the main files. You want to click on manual download and then you want to click on save file. You want to let it download. I have already updated mine because mine was already outdated because it's been a while since I've updated it. That's why there's a two there, but you just want to click it okay we're not over as four text has now loaded um, anyways it will ask you to manage the game once you get to client once you do that you want to click on it will ask you to activate the game like how it says here if you want to if you have a different game selected or if you don't use the client at all it'll ask it'll scan for games app, applicable games that you have installed that work with next uh, vortex I almost said Nexus Vortex mods. <laughs> you want to click on this. You want to click on the plus here. It will show details. Click open, hide, open Nexus page, which is very useful because it opens up. It'll for me. It'll open up Waterfox because I have that set as default browser, but it will open up uh, Vortex's Stardew Valley's mod page, which is very useful, I believe. And you want to log into your account here. If you have created an account, you want to log in because then once you link your Vortex client to your, your Nexus mod account to your Vortex client, you will be able to directly install mods into the client, which is very useful if you install a lot of mods. You can easily, it, it used to be like the mod manager, like there, there used to be a mod manager before Vortex, which I used to use, which I forgot the name of. 
pretty sure that's called Nexus Mod Manager, but I could be wrong. Anyways, you want to click on any mod, for instance, item bags, or just use that as an example. You want to go to File. I don't know why I, I'm getting this when I, I, I oh, it's because I'm not logged in. Okay, so we're going to log into our Anyways, account. once you log in on the website and you, if you're already linked on Vortex, you just got to click download, and click the Vortex button. And it will say your file will be served via Vortex once you click download. And as you see, pretty much every mod utilizes the Stardew modern API, which is very important to have. Otherwise, your game will crash and not function. So you, you want to make sure you have some app installed if you want to use mods. And then after you have downloaded the mod, depending on how big the mod is, it might take a, what, a bit if you are using a free account, but... Anyways, you want to just click on install. Anyways, you want to click on enable after it downloads. And this because this, this, I, I play a lot of Skyrim, so I have a lot of Skyrim mods, like a lot of Skyrim. <laughs> um, downloads, yeah. Should be somewhere in here. Yeah, this is another mod. But we're gonna install that too, Stardew Valley. Anyways, we're gonna enable that. And that should allow us to TP to any NPC in the game, which is very useful in my opinion, because I hate finding the NPCs. So, anyways, you wanna, after you install a mod, you wanna click on launch. You can also download and install mods manually, but this is a much easier way to install mods. As you can see, it has loaded the mods. Of course, I can back up a save file because there is no save file. So, you know, that's... And then after you have launched the game, you will be able to use the mods you have installed on your own and you'll be able to play Stardew Valley fully modded at the, with the latest version of Stardew Valley. Now I will show you the mods that are working. I created a uh, what she may call it character or bullshit character. As you can see a record 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 form. Um, so we will do an example to show you that this is fully functional. I will press the B key to open up the TP2 menu. And you can TP to any NPC's home. Like for instance, you just click on set. And see that? I am now next to Gus instantaneously. And it is a very good mod. But since I'm not going to have friends with him, I'm kind of stuck in his house. So, um, yeah, that's... Kind of the thing there I'm, I'm, I'm stuck in the house i i didn't think that went through but anyways it's just a single case that this does indeed work and you'll be able to mod start a valley as much as you want to your heart's content and wow a tpp rain to her bed okay wow okay that is a <laughs> anyways i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial, if this tutorial has helped you in any way, I hope you guys have enjoyed. And see you guys next time in another tutorial. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If this tutorial has helped you, please let me know down below. And see you all guys next time. Bye. <laughs> Bye.